for Santa. Please get me a new webcam for Christmas. This 1080 piece of shit is just not doing the job. Hello and welcome. It is I, the OG GM. If I didn't have things to complain about, I wouldn't be broadcasting at all. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. It's the 18th day of uh, November 2022. It's uh, about 70 degrees and sunny. Looks like we're going to have another hot, dry, windy allergy day. Oof. So we are under a fire warning here at uh, Site B. Fun. It's Friday to take the time to take a look at all the tabletop role-playing game news, weather, and general internet nonsense we might have missed during the week. So, of course, our number one stories are all Wizards of the Coast related or indirectly related because apparently Wizards of the Coast cannot stop. Can literally cannot help themselves. So first and foremost... The Takesha versus Tiamat thing. Yesterday, Wizards of the Coast announced that Tiamat from Dungeons and Dragons lore and I guess Mesopotamian uh, lore and Takesha, I'm probably saying that wrong, from Dragonlance lore were the same being. Now, I was always under the impression that they were the same being anyways uh, when I thought about it all. And most of the Dragonlance players I ever met were also like, yeah, they're the same. I mean, maybe they didn't think that before Dragonlance came over to D&D. Uh, maybe the book readers didn't know who Tiamat was. I don't know. Uh, whatever. There's probably a lot of cross-pollination into the whole thing that I'm not in the best position to speak about because Dragonlance was always on the periphery of me. me. I'm sorry. I came to the Dragonlance party really, really late, and its popularity kind of just dwindled away where I was at the time, so it never came up as much as maybe it did in other gaming groups. Um, so... I can't speak with that expertise. Yes, there's something new behind me. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but so, yeah, uh, they announced yesterday, they're the same. And I put up a thing about it. But I guess what I, sh I didn't ask the right question. I got a lot of wonderful responses. Nobody insulted me. Most of them were like, yeah, you know, we, it's they're not the same. Margaret Weiss said they're not the same. She's the creator. So really, she has the final say no matter what Wizards of the Coast says. What I, what I should have said is why. Why bring this up now? Was it like, was there a huge Twitter debate about it? Were there people, you know, North and South Civil War fighting over Takesha and Tiamat are the same? No, they're not the same. Yes, they are. Was there, I mean, was this the kind of thing where Wizards of the Coast creative team, you know, are sitting around going, dudes, we really need to address this Takesha Tiamat thing because my God, it's the most important thing on the uh, agenda. Uh, not the, you know, this whole 34% stock drop magic thing movie no 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 why do this now other than for the, sh the sheer sake of remaining somewhat relative relevant or is this like some token yes i yeah, yeah, what's that behind me oh look new poster is this some token um attempt to garner goodwill hey guys stop fighting takesha and tm out of the same thing can't we all just get along and all agree that wizards of the coast knows what's best for you there was absolutely no reason whatsoever to make this announcement and put it out there on the D, &D multiverse what well, nothing nothing that i know of led up to it so i don't see the incentive and really that in in my in, in my sarcasm and anger and confusion yesterday that is the question I should have asked, and maybe I wouldn't have gotten as much. Uh, I mean, but I appreciate the response, and I appreciate that nobody like threatened me or called me an idiot. And you know, I am definitely not the best person to, te to talk about Dragonlance. So many other people who are way more educated on the topic came to and posted. So thank you very much, each and every one of you. Uh, at the end of the day, if Margaret Weiss says they're not the same, she's the creator. They're not the same, uh, just because they look the same. I guess, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it, the, the imagery is based upon a pre existing image of a, you know, a creature from ancient mythology. So it's not like multi headed dragon is solely the ownership of any one individual. So, you know what? Make up your own mind. It's really only what's canon at your table is what matters. If in your game they're the same, great. If they're not the same, great. It, it's, I don't know. Again, it just boils down to not. You know, what Wizards of the Coast said yesterday was like, why? Why say it now? I, I don't... Why say... Why? 
In other news in regarding Wizards of the Coast and the continuing soap opera of Wizards of the Coast versus Justin Lanassa slash TSR 3.5 slash Wonderworks Toys slash uh, Star Frontiers, which may or may not exist. Uh, apparently, Wizards of the Coast called out uh, um, TSR 3.5 Justin Lanassa in the latest round of the court case for lying about character record sheets. And they were able to prove that they lie, were lying about character record sheets. And they were like, oh, yeah, look what we did. And just, and the, but then the general response was uh, character record sheets exist. So they're not really lying, were they? <laughs> probably not the best thing to bring up in the court case. There probably were better choices. Maybe. I don't know. There's a Walking Dead role-playing game that was just announced. Because why not? Milk that Walking Dead love 11 seasons too late. Scheduled for 2023, it's from, of all people, Free League. It's going to be using the Year Zero engine, so it's going to be a mutant Year Zero type game, but set in the Walking Dead universe. There will be a live play series as well. Only if you get some of the actors from Walking Dead would be cool. The, the, char the, the actor who plays Negan... Role-playing Negan. <laughs> Role-playing Carl would be hilarious. Okay, so yeah. Um, I mean, I love that Free League scoops up, you know, IPs like Aliens and Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. There has already been a f boatload of Walking Dead-inspired role-playing games over the past 11, well, it's 11 seasons, so right? 11 years, 10 years? Uh, none of them had the Walking Dead name, but I mean, there's been tons of zombie horror, zombie survival, zombie apocalypse role-playing games before the Walking Dead phenomenon started, during the Walking Dead phenomenon, after the Walking Dead phenomenon, including, of course, Last of Us and all the other ones. So uh, this has kind of got the same feeling for me, like a, uh, you know, Cowboy Bebop role-playing game coming out 11 years after Cowboy Bebop stopped, you know, running. I, I get that you're trying to capture that um, Walking Dead impetus before it fades from public memory with this, you know, the last episode being, I think, today, or is it next week, you know, before we go to the multiple spinoffs and you want to keep the Walking Dead interest because the spinoffs are coming up. There's three spinoffs scheduled coming up. Um, if you're not familiar with what's going on with Walking Dead ending finally after 11 seasons, um, there's going to be a Negan and Maggie spinoff where they go to new york for reasons there's going to be a daryl in france spinoff for reasons and there's going to be the long-awaited what the fuck happened to rick and michonne spinoff movie thing season whatever they're going to call it you know and judith and i, I don't know what else uh but yeah is it uh, is there a market for this i mean you know if you wanted a walking dead inspired uh, role-playing game, chances are you already have it because of the 10,000 zombie apocalypse role-playing games that came out before, during, and, you know, it's tough. And, you know, if we want just a source book that converts the Walking Dead universe to Mutant Year Zero, well, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, you know, a source book, especially if it's approved by AMC and it looks like it is, except, of course, AMC is getting sued by the creators of the walking dead. So I don't know if they're the best company to be associated with right now. We'll see. This could be a great something, another, or it could be with free leagues first failure. Uh, should have gone for elder scrolls. Should have gone for elder scrolls. If there's one IP out there that could, you know, kick the market. It's probably elder scrolls. All right, well, do you have any interest in playing a Walking Dead role-playing game, or do you already have your tabletop role-playing game of zombie apocalypse of choice and are like, why now? Too late. There's no market. I don't know. Why, why is this a thing? A source book? Great. So, you know, Walking Dead, Mutant Year Zero, Walking Dead Universe source book. That would be cool. So it's like how to run, you know, it's, it's, it's the same Mutant Year Zero, but it's Walking Dead. This is a source book to, so you could run a Walking Dead campaign using Mutant Year Zero. I don't know, but it is, except it is. I'm confused. You know what? My brain's not working this morning, but I just don't see the need for this. Anything else going on? Oh, hey, we've got the uh, table of contents for Shadow of the Dragon Queen. So let's take a look. 
It's a 224-page book with seven chapters and five appendixes. Uh, we have Character Creation, Prelude to War, When Home Burned, Shadow of War, The Northern Waste, City of Not Lost Names, and Siege of Calaman. The appendixes are magic items, friends and foes, sidekicks. Remember the sidekick rule? Remember the sidekick rule that they introduced like three, four years ago? Anybody ever actually use that sidekick rule? Anybody? No. Uh, art and maps. And yes, of course, the art is being problematic because oh my god racist fish um yeah mm, that's about it uh so i guess the big story is what was oh yeah and i guess uh, some more insight into the whether they're going to cancel the ogl or not again they can't cancel the ogl you can't uh, what they can do is refuse to support it on D&D Beyond. Ref program D&D Beyond in the VTT so it will not accept third-party uh, product. It will not accept open source products. And probably they will find some way where you can't homebrew stuff and post it on there unless it follows their very specific things. But they will release a one D&D SRD. So then you have to get into the, well, what's the difference between an SRD, system reference document, and... Uh, the OGL because the system reference doctor document is out there in public domain. That means I could just use the, the system reference doc document and make my own stuff and not, you know, buy the books. I'm just missing out on huge chunks of, you know, fluff, but basically everything you need to play is in the system reference documents. And if you, I mean, if you look at the 5e SRD and compare it to the 5e player's handbook, the 5e SRD is actually better. <laughs> Um, so people could write stuff for one D and D using the SRD, but again, then, you know, it's basically the same thing. No third party, no nothing. You could, you could write a stuff, uh, using the SRD, but if you want to publish it on D and D beyond, um, then you'd have to follow whatever guidelines they have. And of course, they would own full rights, and they'd probably say no homebrews unless it specifically follows this, and you give us all the rights. And the third, anybody making third-party stuff for one D and D can't. Which I mean, yeah, it makes no sense because basically, what you're saying, if this comes true, is like we're saying nobody can make third-party crap for one D and D. Uh, we will only accept official one D and D crap that we made on D, D beyond and um publishing it will be publishing stuff for one D D will be difficult for third parties but i think most of the third party people are like yeah we're just gonna stick with the 5e engine that's where the market is or we're gonna stick with the ogl osr engines because that's where the market is i mean the more wizards of the coast says these things without clarifying what they mean and again this is a rumor we don't know if it's true it feels like it's true, but we don't know if it's true. Um, the more you're just pushing people... This is 4th edition all over again. I brought this up yesterday. Um, so, yeah. Really, Wizards of the Coast, you probably should just stop talking for a while. Buy my merch. It's Christmas. Buy my merch. West Coast Grognard t-shirts. A brand new one coming up soon. Uh OGGM t-shirts the uh, Hasbro police sticker is up yeah check out my merch because if you really want to get somebody for Christmas this is the best thing you can get them till next time I'm the OGGM with all your tabletop role playing game news weather and general internet's nonsense saying see ya